Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you all of these, what they are for and what I did in them and how they actually helped me get into an art school in Paris. I call them workbooks for my portfolio for trying out for French art schools and as a lot of you guys might know, I go to an art school in Paris called Art Deco or NSAD. If you want to get more information on how to get into an art school in general, here is a video that I made on how to get through all the procedures and everything so you can check that out. Also, if you are curious about what I made as final projects from all these workbooks, don't hesitate to check out this video that I made explaining all my works in my portfolio. And before we get into the video, if you are interested in going to a French art school but you don't really know the procedures, you don't have enough information to actually get started and don't understand the system and want to know more about it, I provide a one-on-one -on -one consultation to answer all your questions about entry exam, art school life, and, and anything you want to know around this subject. We can also go through your artworks if you wish so we can go through them together and you can get some constructive feedback and advice. Just click on this link in the description to book a personal consultation with me. So what are workbooks exactly? The notion might differ from person to person and I'm not even sure if there would be a lot of people who would call their notebooks like workbooks but I use it as a draft for my ideas. These workbooks are pretty much a jumble of everything very much like how I was when I was preparing for entry exams in French art schools. I call them workbooks and not sketchbooks because I feel like it's not dedicated to one purpose but the ensemble of my workflow and it's also to differentiate my workbooks from the typical sketchbooks that you might think like all those sketchbook tours that are so amazing around YouTube. Spoiler alert! mine is really not like that. I know a lot of you are expecting really a lot from these. I know like page-wise they are a lot but I'm going to tell you from the beginning that they are not going to be perfect drawings like those sketchbooks that you make to get into CalArt. This video is to show you something outside of my actual final works and to tell you that you don't really need a perfect sketchbook to get into art schools. So in these notebooks there are a lot of little sketches, a lot of lists that I have to do, a lot Lot of mind maps that I go through to develop my ideas and there are also some pages where there would be like colored pencils or like a little bit more refined drawings or paintings and also sometimes little studies that I've done about artists but in a nutshell my workbooks are where I store all my rushed inspirations the rough cuts of all my projects and even the ones that didn't even make it to the final cut I'm also here to show you that being an artist is not being perfect and especially me who is isn't really made for drawing but I still did it. It's okay to be a little bit awkward if you want to create stuff. It's okay. This workbook tour isn't to like bring you down or to make you feel uninspired because you have to have like what like 10 notebooks to go through. No, it's not that. It's not about quantity or quality. It's just how you do it. And before we get into the actual tour, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment about what kind of content you would like to see next in my next videos. Hello guys, um, so let's get right into it. So basically there are some numbers that I have put on all my craft notebooks. It will probably go on in a chronological matter. So let's go, let's start. So this one is my first ever craft notebook, I guess. When I first started out with my notebooks, I really had a lot of hard time like knowing what to jot down and stuff. Now we see that it is 2018 up there, it's October. I guess I drew this in a notebook that I just ripped it out and put it here. So here we start with some basic keywords like sentiment, physical growth, mental growth, and a little bit of a mind map right there. <laughs> and some drawings of what I wanted to make. I guess I wanted to work on some plants. Oh, and a disclaimer, there are like three languages in these notebooks, like Korean, uh, French, and English. So I guess I was working on cigarettes. There's a face there, I rarely don't draw. I guess for this one, I think I was trying to draw this in one line. I guess this is all like me trying to write down my thoughts, trying to get some ideas out of there. Mind maps, ooh, that's pretty cute. I like that, I like that a lot. 
I didn't really know how to draw then, so it was just kind of like figures like that. And there's my little cat, <laughs> Adrian Brody from Detachment. I don't know why his eyes look like he is fucking high, but um, we're just gonna go with it, I guess. This page is kind of like a research page where I talk about Detachment, for some themes. Yeah, that's my friend that I drew right there. And um, this is my friend from Strasbourg. She goes to an art school too. <laughs> I guess I wrote down a little bit about friendship and growing up. And that is a sticker that I got from an illustration fair or something. Always the keywords. Keywords are very important. There are still a lot of blank pages like that where I just like fuck up stuff. And as you can tell, there are a lot of just lists that go on and on and a lot of mind maps like that that really doesn't have a lot of sense so i guess i just um, painted this with gouache i bet i just had too much gouache that <laughs> i had to get rid of uh, an idea like, choreographed video and stuff i guess i wanted to do some performance and sometimes i would just take notes on, I guess, stuff that I read about or write about. I don't know why I wrote a, a diary entry right there. <laughs> but yeah. Here I wrote, just jot down everything and anything I want to do slash make. <laughs> and there are some like blank pages. Here are, there are a lot of notes. Self-hate, self-love growth garden i think i had a, a little bit of an obsession with gardens at this point yeah i remember like me trying to actually oh that's really nice what i did i was trying to like get to a point where i know what i'm doing like when it comes to themes in your portfolio whenever and like yeah i used to get really dirty too so that's it for the first one the second notebook's cover looks like that. That is lipstick. And I think I have had like leftover bandages that I just put on. And yeah, start so full. That's 2018 November. I guess I looked up some things on Nikita Sanfal. And that is a photo that I took of the mailman's motorcycle. Also still about self-love. Yeah, and this is when I started to work on my book. So I wrote a book. It's a short story to be exact, but I, I put like illustrations. So basically the short story was inspired by Egon Shile, which talks about like the fragility of love and just insecurities in general. And yeah, and this is, I guess, when I started to do that. That is Munasi. A Korean illustrator that I love so much. Some other lists. I wrote so, so much. I guess I really like Nikki de Sanfer at this point. So this is basically like the little storyboard that I made for my book. So this is the first chapter. There are like five chapters, if I remember well. This is basically a layout of the first chapter. And as we go on, this is also the layouts for the illustrations. I didn't even finish some of them because I just did them at the end. I remember that I wanted to do a performance with Billie Eilish's uh, When the Party is Over. Never got to do it, but I, I really wanted to do that. And this really looks fancy, but it's not. It's just a gouache paint that I just did it over but i really like it i really like that and honestly this one is my favorite painting if you could call it even a painting i just did it with ink there's like a little trace of yellow that i did before coloring everything in but i really really love that this pink one i guess i like it a bit less because i feel like there's not enough of that really brutality in this one as this one and i really really like this one. <laughs> oh god <laughs> and that is it for the second book and let's go on to the third so the third one looks like that i used to use a lot of baby wipes because of a lot of paintings and stuff and i think i just stuck this because the colors were pretty i think this is probably ink 
And we start off with Hater. The people who have already seen my portfolio, they know what Hater is. So basically Hater was a silkscreen project that I did. So I guess this is me trying to like expand on how to like develop this idea, I guess. And so um, I don't know why there are some post-its, but there are post-its. There's a dollar, there's more lists. <laughs> And so for the book, this is the layout for chapter two, I guess. And those are some other illustrations that I wanted to do for the book. These never made it. This one did. These are still surprisingly first ideas, if I could call it. Um, this one's hater. This one is tail. That's something that I drew from Pinterest. And there's another list. I have so many lists. And this is basically like a little bit of a mood board for what I wanted to do for my book. And oh, I wrote a lot again. Chapter three, another layout for the book. And this is for the text that I had to write or another piece of mine that I did. And the fourth one. The fourth one is, I guess, a bit, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Um, I guess it looks a bit dirty. Let's see how it's inside. December 2018. That I did in ink. I don't know what that means. But they look like bobbleheads. <laughs> I think this is a scene from Conan Gray's Generation Y. And I really like that. Like honestly, it's you who don't put your signature on it. It's not that good. This is actually some interesting experiment that I did to draw people without actually looking on the paper and just, just scribbling very intuitively. I really love this. It's a friend of mine that I drew back in 2018. There is another friend that I did an experiment on and uh, I don't know what I really wanted to do there. So, oh, okay. So I drew quite a lot in th this notebook. This is Sincerity is Scary by the 1975. This, you can't even like understand this from any angle. What is this? I really have no idea what that is. I copied these off from Pinterest, but I'm really liking the watercolors and the pencil. This one is very uh, bloody. Honestly, I kind of like the vibe of it next to this one because it's like very soft and this is just like BAM! I think I, I drew this because um, in the atelier that I was going to, there was like a set of red and white things on a string hung up on the ceiling. And it was like a little mobile that kind of like turned on itself and I, re I think I really like that. <laughs> I guess I was a bit depressed in this phase but everything's okay now. <laughs> This is a Korean poem, literally translated. The title is The Stone's Emotions, but it's a bit surreal how everything is. I didn't really fully understand this poem, but yet it spoke to me so much that at the end I cried. And it really meant so a lot to me, and like I related a lot to this. So I wanted to do something on this poem with my friend, but we never got to do it. This is another poem that my friend brought in. It's called The Snowman's Suicide. Ooh, and I actually went to Marcel Duchamp exhibition in Korea. And I did a little collage out of the pamphlet and another one, I guess. And so that is it for, and we go on to the fifth book which looks pretty cute. And this one is 2019 January. So at this point, I would be 19. Some studies that I did on the bathroom of the atelier. I don't know why I did it. I just smeared a bit of paint on it. And if you see it on the mirror, it kind of matched. So it was like one in the front and one in the back. And in the mirror, it kind of looked cool. And I thought there were similar stuff that this person did. I think I just had like a spare eraser left. I played it out with different colors and different opacities, I guess. And I really like this page. For this project, I needed to have a lot of erasers that I could make stamps with. So I think that's what I did. So I chose a few movies and such. 
some color tests. I don't know what that is. A lot of doodles. And, and I remember I wanted to do like a whole ass set design before to actually like make a set and do a performance in it, something like that. I never got to have a chance to do it. These are like the test colors and I was really stoked to do it, but I never got to. I think this was an accident. I think there were like blotches of paint that kind of stuck to the papers, but like it just made a trace and it looked like a mistletoe. <laughs> And yeah, it's 20. I was 20 years in Korean age, so I guess I did that. And there are some to-do lists. Oh yeah, so this is from a film called Nikita. Thought it could be interesting to put an OHP film on laptop screen to actually make these kind of patterns and stuff. And some more designs for the set design that I wanted to do, but never made it. And there's Tom Hiddleston because I love Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> so that is it for the fifth one. So the sixth one has a lot of Pantones. And this is still from 2019, January. So I'm going through notebooks very, very fast right now. Started to make another project called Home. I was working on multiple projects at once. This is a painting that was quite scandalous at the time for me <laughs> i i guess i don't really talk a lot about sex in my projects it's not something that i would focus on very much i guess this is like the first time i ever did anything very direct So this is basically like my birthday letter, which my friend gave me. She wrote something in the back and I still kept it because you know, she's a good friend. And oh, some selfies. I, th I thought it was very interesting to play with a block of a broken mirror so I could play it on my face like a little mask, I guess. My ghost. For these pages, I was writing down all my projects so I get them like a bit organized, like to organize my words and how I see them. So to not get confused when I talk to the jury. Ta-da! And the seventh one. Oh, so it's still in 2019 January. How many notebooks am I going through each day? Derrière la scène. So a little BTS. So that was the project home that I was doing. These photos to make it into these. I think that's pretty cute. I painted a heart. Yeah. I guess I wanted to paint some stuff like that, but never happened. Some nude paintings of myself. Hey, I really wrote a lot of stuff. I think I really do write before I draw. And I think that's also a good idea. This book finished pretty quickly. So this is the last book of the craft series. So this is just before I went to France to take the tests and everything. I doubt that there would be a lot of interesting stuff. They're normally like notes of, I don't know, even philosophers and stuff like that. What is this? I don't remember doing this. This is kind of like a, an art dictionary that I did for, for French words that I might not know. Mm. There are some stuff that I did. Maybe you're not that big of a deal. <laughs> I had a friend who was a bit pompous and who thought they were the shit and I really didn't like that attitude and but I wasn't that kind of person who would just say out loud and like shame that person and call that person out. So I guess I just vented it out on my notebook. <laughs> And yeah, that is it for this one. 
This is also a cover that I actually made. I made this on Illustrator, I think. And this one is more for my paintings that I concentrated more on. These two sheets of paper might not seem as important, but this book holds my most intimate thoughts and feelings in my everyday life. The contents might be related to how I felt, thought, or something that I saw during that day. Keeping track of my mood is a reminiscence or my future self, a journal for the present, and the curiosity for my past. What is in here should not be judged by no one else but me. It is one of the ways to learn how to love myself more and to express myself in every way possible. That is beautiful. <laughs> uh, if, I, if I could say so myself. I guess I have already thought about reading this in the future. And it's really nice. So this notebook is more like pretty stuff, I guess. Like paintings that would take me hours to finish. Or I tried to do one page every day, but never really worked out. <laughs> I really love this. Oh my god, that was really a jump scare. <laughs> so that is it for this one, which is not finished. And this notebook is pretty thick, I guess. It's uh, thicker than the other ones. Either this is for my really, really early works or just basically a study of artists and some projects that I did that were inspired by these set authors. This is a painting that I really like of a Japanese garden that I took in Osaka, I think. <laughs> That is a photo that I took near the Han River, I think. And that is my foot. <laughs> Some studies of Egon Schiele. And this is a video project that I did. Like here it is, and it actually caught on fire. Mm. I remember this was supposed to be um, an animation that I wanted to do, but it was really, really tricky to draw every single frame. And I was just too dumb to even think that I could do them in a loop, so... <laughs> and that is it for this notebook too.
So that is it for all of my notes. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Every subscriber counts. And recently I've got a thousand subscribers, which is crazy. And thank you so much for supporting me and loving this channel. I am so grateful for it. And I'm planning on posting more this summer and continuously. So I hope you guys are looking for more content because there are a lot to come. And yeah, that's it for this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.